Hey guys, Chris with Plumometry. I haven't put out a lot of videos lately because I have been on a brake shop bender with the brake rack and I am enjoying it thoroughly. One of the things I've been able to do is increase my brake speed from around 60 miles an hour, typically to in the 20 mile per hour range. That's about 25% better in a couple of weeks. This video is gonna focus around my experimentation with the Elite Series Qs. I just got this heavy hitter brake cue. Um, it's the band 27 ounce heavy hitter. Uh, but something that's different from this cue compared to others um, is that because I already had the Elite in a phenolic tip, I had them put on the Samsara leather tips. You can see they shaved down uh, the, the round edge and they installed the Samsara leather tip. So what I was able to do is a crisscross of tests. So on one hand with different weight bolts, I was able to get the weight of the cue into four different categories. 15 for your super light speed cue, I think 18, 22, and I think 27 ounces. And then also I was able to mix and match those four weights with these two shafts so that I was able to test the phenolic and the leather at four different weights simultaneously in order to get a comparison between all of them. Now I've done tests like this in the past, but I wanted to see that as my brake speed has increased, do the things I've found in the past still hold true? What you see here, as usual, is my top 10 breaks out of 20 attempts with each tip and weight combination. First notice that the Band Elite 27 ounce cue is all the way on the right here with its slowest speed nearly higher than every other cue's fastest speed. And in fact, it produced the top six speeds of all the cue combinations in the lineup. Needless to say, I was pretty impressed. Here are the speeds categorized by tip type and weight. Once again, my tests reveal the consistent conclusion that hard leather tips produce a higher speed brake shot than phenolic tips. Interestingly, the speeds were nearly identical in the super light class, but with each weight increase, the speed difference increased by about 0.4 miles per hour each time. In the weight comparison, as usual, the super light cue was the least productive, the middleweight cues were fighting for second place, while the heaviest weight bombed the competition. In fact, I was so impressed, I later put it head-to-head -head with my undefeated BK Rush, and it more than held its own. They were nearly neck and neck with the BK Rush winning out due to a break over 21 miles an hour. To be that close to my BK Rush for under $200, this is a monster brake cue. But that's assuming your brake stroke is fairly similar to mine, and that might be asking a lot. A heavy brake cue is not for everyone, but if you like a heavy brake cue, this is probably a good deal for you. So overall, I am a huge fan of the Elite Band 27 ounce cue. I do find that it is, however, annoying to put together. This wood pin is supposed to offer sort of a more pure connection, and I find it kind of annoying. In fact, I'm putting the phenolic on right now. This shaft actually goes with this cue, and right around here, it gets really hard, and I have to work it all the way in. So these pins are supposed to be uh, just universal, but you cannot crisscross them easily the same way you could with a metal pin. Um, although this shaft for some reason goes easily on this cue. So they're not perfectly uh, swappable and I don't like that at all. I also think why in the world when you know we have these great metal connections, why are we still using the wood? I think it's kind of gimmicky, but that's my opinion. Um, so I am still really in love with this cue. I'm gonna keep it as my home practice cue. I think the extra weight will help me uh, increase my speed as like a practice cue, like a workout cue. Um, but then I'll go to my BK Rush, which is a touch lighter, and I'll be able to maybe have a little bit of extra speed because of working out with this cue. And if I just leave it at home, I'm not gonna be taking it apart and putting it back together, so it'll just stay on the rack. Of course, as a reminder, this is specifically the leather version of this cue. I don't think I'd be as happy with it if I had a left the phenolic tip on it. So if you have this cue, I recommend you having the, a new leather tip put on. I really like the Samsara. I'm sure some of the other hard leather tips are gonna do just as good a job. I still have plans to analyze and review the best way to get the cue ball to pop and stop in the middle of the table after the break while retaining maximum speed and impact into the rack. However, that's still kind of on hold as I've been trying to increase my raw brake speed as well as messing around with my equipment. I don't think I'll ever stop trying to buy cues and mixing with it, even though I've got a great cue in the BK Rush. Anyway, keep watch for those videos. Thanks for watching, guys.